Thank you, Satya. Good morning, everyone. So the, the machine that you see uh, costs over a million dollars. Uh, it has over 900 moving parts. Any of those parts that break down could cause an interruption to that machine. And this machine doesn't exist in isolation. It exists in factories. And there's many of these machines in a factory. And so downtime to one machine can cause cascading failures to the factory and delays that cost millions of dollars per hour. Now, years ago, these machines were simply serviced at regular intervals. And as Satya just said, these are now being connected to the cloud so that you can predict the maintenance needs of these and to even shut them down in the case of a, a pending failure. So Sandvik Coromont has these connected to Azure, and they trust Azure and Azure IoT to keep these machines running and to keep them safe. So let's take a look at what they're doing. So here you see both the factory floor and the edge devices, as well as the cloud. Sandvik has software that's running on these machines, and the software is uh, collecting telemetry from these devices and sending them to IoT Hub, to our Azure IoT Hub service, in a secure, scalable, two-way communication. Once the telemetry is through Azure IoT Hub, they're using a combination of stream analytics and machine learning to determine the maintenance needs of these machines and keep them running, and also to trigger a shutdown in the case of a pending damage to the machine. And so when that happens, they simply trigger an Azure function, which calls through Azure IoT Hub and then down to the devices themselves. Now, Sandvik, like many of our industrial customers, has also implemented fail-safe logic that runs out on the machine. So if there's a local network interruption, they can still monitor whether the machine needs to be shut down to protect it. And they had to develop that again. They already have that logic running in the cloud, and what they really, really want is to be able to take that logic in the cloud and move it out to the edge. So to today, I'm thrilled to announce a breakthrough new capability we call Azure IoT Edge. Azure IoT Edge is a cross-platform runtime that runs on both Windows and Linux. It runs on devices even smaller than a Raspberry Pi. And it enables cloud functionality to be exported, run, and managed directly on IoT devices remotely. So now the picture starts to look dramatically different. Now Sandvik can simply take that logic and export it and run down on these devices. And what's nice about that is you get a nice symmetry where logic can be tested and developed in the cloud. You can run CI CD pipelines in the cloud. And on successful deployments, you can run the exact same code out on the devices at very low latency. So to take a look at that in action, let's take a look at a operational dashboard. So what you see here is a set of factories across the globe. And I'm going to open one of them up. So these are all the different machines on this factory floor. Now, each one of these machines has its own unique uh, telemetry that it's sending to the cloud, its own unique RPMs and power consumption and vibration. And all of that telemetry was used to create those machine learning modules that are fine-tuned to predict the maintenance needs for each one of these machines and to shut them down in the case of a pending failure. So if I go over to the Azure tab here, I can see all of the different logic that Sandvik has developed for these machines. And the first three are for the metal cutting machine that you saw when I came out. With this new capability that we've developed called Azure IoT Edge and this capability in the cloud, we can now simply take that logic and export it. And they get packaged up into portable Docker containers. And now when I go back to the factory floor, I get an alert on the machine that I just exported that there's new software available for it. So if I open this up, I see the operational dashboard for this machine. And it's got all sorts of interesting information, temperature, power consumption. But there's a really important one I want to draw your attention to, and that's up in the upper right-hand corner, the emergency response time. And what that is is how long it takes for telemetry coming from these devices to be sent to the cloud, evaluated, and in the case of an emergency shutdown, for a signal to be sent back down to the device. Right now, that's a little over two seconds. And with Azure IoT Edge, we could do dramatically better. 
So these packages that I exported are now available. I'm going to open them up and select them. Now, I've already coordinated ahead of time with the IT and OT teams so that I know that it's safe to update these machines. And when I click Deploy, what's going to happen is we're going to network these containers down to the machine, we're going to activate them, and they're going to start running that protection code right on the machine. And you're going to see the emergency response time drop dramatically. The reason why is that that logic is now running locally, so there's no cloud loop involved in it anymore. So I go ahead and click Deploy. It's now downloading, installing, and running. And now you see we just dropped down to a little over 100 milliseconds. It's a 20x improvement. And now Sandvik Coromount doesn't have to duplicate their logic in the cloud on a device to protect these million-dollar machines. This is the power of Azure IoT Edge, and it's the power of an intelligent cloud working in harmony with an intelligent edge. Thank you very much.